What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And on today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are reviving an old 1980s Margay racing cart, but not any old racing cart. I bought this thing four years ago for a three-way build-off that never really happened. Painted it up like a World War II bomber plane, and uh, then Ike and I had a mini build-off. I wrecked it as I was about to win. Ike got in my way. Who won that? It's a sore subject. So in today's episode, we are giving this go-kart the TLC that it has deserved all along, fixing what I broke in the wreck, getting it running in preparation for a real three-way race that we are gonna have sometime soon in the future. So anyway, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. We're gonna have to probably change the way the engine is mounted because it's a little bit sketchy right now, fix the steering linkage and uh, add some brakes and some throttle and we'll be in business. That rim's got a nice battle scar from when I hit the garage. As you pointed out, thank you, thank you. This go-kart may look like it's ready to fire up and ride, but when I was building it, there were all kinds of things that were just inconvenient to do properly the first time, AKA I was very lazy. So we need to fix them now. Here's a complete list. Gotta trim the steering piece that comes off the spindle and we can't space out the wheel anymore. General weirdness with stacking washers on the engine. If you look, we have about two and a half threads on each of those nuts. The air filter, we cannot ride it with the air filter on it because it's sitting on the tire. That tire never properly seated. It still has air in it from three years ago. Throttle cable, brake cable, throttle pedal, brake pedal. Brake linkage. Brake linkage. Definitely got to put new fuel in it. Wouldn't hurt to change the oil as well. So I'm going to reuse the old straightened tie rod and it'll be fine. I don't think it'll run. I don't think so either. No, it's not gonna run. Half. <laughs> Two, two threads. It's hitting the engine. Yep. Dang. So while Ike finalizes everything with getting the engine mounted, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a DIY alignment. All you need are a bunch of things that are long and straight, like two by fours, two by sixes, or angle iron, flat bar. Just watch and I'll show you. All right, now I'm gonna find some longer boards or I could use pipes, broom handles, pool cues, whatever is long and straight. Put them up against these tires. Dude, oh dude, well that carburetor's ruined. <laughs> you can see that each one of these boards is pointed outwards. So that means we need to come into here and adjust our tie rods inwards. Measure there, measure from there. There's center, there's the corner of each wheel. Do the other. 39 and a little bit over three quarters. Thirty-nine and a little bit over three quarters. All right, let's we'll do on. a little bit more. If you, if you go the right way, hang on with the right way. So now that we have our front and our rear equal, that means our toe is effectively zero. Whether you want toe in, uh, neutral, or toe out depends on the type of driving you want to do. So go ahead and do your own research on that. We are just going to do neutral with a hair of toe in, 
because we tend to do high speeds sometimes. All right, we're out here at Ike's place with the old Margay. Probably not gonna have any voice left by the end of the day, but I'm gonna do some warm up laps. And then we're gonna do the Isaac Grand Prix. Sounds awesome. <laughs> what was he? 3023. 3023? 3023. That, that sounds fast. That's pretty good. Whose turn? I'll go. Set. It's fast. Got 30, 40. No! Dang! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hey, you know what? I just need to carry weights around with me. Uh -huh. and that way we can be equal weight okay, every time right. we race. I feel like I can do better. Oh, so you get another go? No, I don't need another go. How about Matt gets another go, and then you get another go if you want another go. You ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go! Maybe this wasn't the smartest idea on our end. What, letting someone else ride it with, with no, no brakes? brakes? Yeah, it'll be right. I just now remembered that the dude we bought this from, he said his son rode it back in the 90s. Isn't that the one that had the uh, welded on other pedals on the pedals? Yes, for a kid. For a kid. Yeah, I hear yeah. so much scraping right now. <laughs> he took it easy, but he still had to go over there. <laughs> 37.88. All right, Ike's going again, because he wants to beat me. Set, 34.19. Oh, 34, okay. okay. I turned the wheel, and it did not turn. I was even leaning forward. Oh. And I was heading right for the woods. Ah. Uh. So I had to take a right. Oh, okay. Do you want to go again? Yes. Please. Okay, do it. 30.21, you beat me by .02. Boom! Now I get two goes, because you got two goes. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> we can do this all night. I can night. do this all yeah. night long. <laughs> I don't care. He zigged when he should have zagged. I think I did exactly what you did. Yeah? Yeah. Scary. Yeah, it is. All right. 34, 35. What? Whoa! All right, let me go again. Woo! <laughs> you almost lost it on that one, buddy. Twenty-eight point nine. Woo! Dang. Exactly how we started, you know what I mean? Competition? Yeah, just like got an old go-kart, threw a cheap engine on it. How fast can we go around the yard? It's you exactly, can't beat it, dude. It's exactly how it happened. So the cart's falling apart, there's a bolt and a washer in the seat. Good time to stop. Yup. Matthew tore it up. Good times though, man. Good times.
Thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates. Of course, check us out in between videos on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews and Isaac. At Isaac, it'll be fine. If you guys haven't had an experience on an old racing go-kart that you slap a cheap engine on and go have a good time, you need to do that. <laughs> in fact, we just picked up another go-kart this weekend, We right? did. Yeah. And it's still in the back of my truck. Still in the back of the truck. Okay, but we have uh, we just picked up another go-kart. We so, did. So, uh, actually, you just picked it up. I found it, but you picked it up. That's right. And uh, we're going to do a video on that? Definitely. Yeah. You guys want to see I get mad at me real quick? <laughs> Let's go look at the go-kart. So, we're planning on making a very all-inclusive video about how to find a good deal on a go-kart because that's a question that we've had since the beginning and we even have a hard time doing that sometimes i only paid 80 bucks for this one but probably only worth 80 dollars if that it has four good tires on it but it also looks like a banana in the middle oh oh the threaded rod yeah the threaded <laughs> rod yeah because <laughs> yeah uh, yeah. I was wondering why there was a hole drilled there no. in the wire right there. Yep. I'm like, what is going on there? And then I saw the mile long threaded rod coming yep. out of the end. Pretty good, right? Yeah. And uh, how are you going to put air in the tire? I'm crying. This is so good. The valve stem is right there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Jeez. Um, no, the frame, we can, we can do a lot with this frame. Man, I'd ride it. Anyway, the dude was asking 120 bucks, and I was like, and I just looked, I, I, the more I looked, the more I was like, OMG, it's bad. Well, <laughs> it's, it's definitely photogenic. It looked great on yeah. Facebook Marketplace. Yep. Uh, definitely not as good in person. Uh, it's probably a good thing that you didn't take me with you because I might have been like, eh. But, I mean, it's still worth what you paid for it. Yeah. Because there's, we can straighten up the frame. Yep. Uh, we can put two 670s on the back. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm loving this idea. <laughs> um, wheel stands for days. Yep. Anyway, this go-kart and more to come in a future episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.